So, let's talk about the box trolls. Once again, we have another really great and original movie from the House of Laika, who brought us Coraline and Paranorman, among others. And don't get me wrong, it is a kid's movie. It is a movie absolutely written and geared towards children. But the movie itself is not childish. Now, there's a difference. Now, a movie can be written towards a certain audience in mind, and a movie can also be childish or sophomore or whatever term you want to use for really resorting to cheap laughs, lowbrow humor, that kind of thing. You know, the ooh, shiny effect. And, no, it is a kid's movie, but there are some you know, jokes that are written for adults, and that's good because this really is a movie that both kids and adults can enjoy together. The movie has a lot of heart. Like, a lot of heart. Like, you, you go into this movie and you you feel something. I mean, it's, it's not just a movie about, you know, animated, cute-looking trolls having cute, wacky adventures. No, it's a, it's a movie about, you know, how family can be anyone or anything or any combination of anyone or anything. And it's about, you know, finding who you really are and accepting others for what they really are. It's got a really good message. But, you know, message and cuteness and well-done animation aside, what I really enjoyed about this movie, of course, the voice work. <laughs> and... This movie did something that I have n really never seen in a wide theatrical blockbuster movie. It gave equal billing to the voice actors. Yeah, no, I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, there's voice actors, and then there's celebrity voice talent. The two are completely different. Celebrity voice talent are, you know big names who they bring in and they do, you know, a voice, most likely the main character, a few characters here and there. So in order to, you know, increase, you know, to put butts in the seats. And voice actors are, you know, trained professionals whose, really, whose, whose sole career is doing voiceovers. They convey emotion just with their voice. And the two main trolls in this movie, like, the two characters who are pretty much on screen most of the time were done by voice actors. And they were given equal billing alongside the celebrities. And don't get me wrong, the celebrities were amazing. I mean, I couldn't even tell who the celebrities were until I saw their name in the credits. Their, their voice work was that good. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to go into this movie and it's not going to be obvious that you're hearing celebrities do the voice work. They really do a lot of good work. I mean, I was genuinely impressed. So, you know, should you see this movie? Yes, absolutely. Studio Leica deserves your money. They really do. They're putting out somewhat original, very well done artistic films that aren't just a direct ripoff of something or something made purely for, you know, a profit margin. And originality and heart needs to be rewarded. Definitely go see this movie. You know, kids, definitely see this movie. I mean, they're, they're okay. There are a few instances of gross-out humor, and the main villain does get a little intense at times. So for really young kids, adult supervision, absolutely. But this really is a movie for everyone, young or old. And I had no idea that the ending song was written by Eric Idle, so... Pythons, yeah. So, yeah. In short, Box Trolls, great movie. Absolutely loved it. Amazing voice work. It gives respect to all artists in the, in the medium. Both the animators, the writers, and the voice actors. All did an amazing job. My verdict? A solid A-. minus. And that's only really because it is, at its heart, a kid's movie. <laughs> so it did have to appeal to its audience at times. Other than that, go see it.